it's dyed and fried. Look. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Welcome back to another edition of Beauty Monday. I know I have not done a Beauty Monday in so, so, so long. Here we are. A lot of you guys have been asking for a makeup look. So I figured why not? Let's go ahead and bust one out for this Monday, okay? This video is brought to you by My Quality Hair. They were kind of to send me this unit to review for you guys. First, I will be showing you guys how I prepped the unit as far as the washing and the pin curls. And then we're gonna get into the makeup and then the end of the video will be the actual, you know, the styling portions. I went through a lot of emotions with this unit, okay? The Let's just say that, let's just say that. But before we get into my little breakdown, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. simple look with the eyes as always um i think it's simple anyway you know whatever uh, i'm just gonna be showing the eyes today you guys have seen me do my face numerous times if you are new here and you have not i do have a playlist i will link it down below so you guys can check out all my makeup looks so you know you're not missing nothing um as always all the products that i use will be listed down below as well so if you want to try them out for yourself you can do that we're going to be using the juvia's place mini palettes again we're going to be using the same three palettes so first we're going to go in with the chocolate palette and we're going to use this middle shade right here these shadows do not have any names so you know i'll just be pointing to the shadows that you need to use, okay? So we're gonna use our fluffy brush and we're just gonna build that product up in this area in our crease to build out our shape. Now, I know some people are just like, you know, those colors don't show up the same on me. It depends on the base you use and also your skin tone. So if you are lighter than me, this color may look even darker on your skin tone. If you are darker than me, it may look a little more pale. I don't know, okay? If you use a concealer on your eye to prep your makeup, the color payoff for your shadows will be different as well. The rule of thumb is if you use a lighter concealer to prime your eye, then your shadows will show a little bit brighter on your um, skin tone. Next up, we're going to take another fluffy brush. This is the 504 but this is the 504 brush by morphe the one i used before was the 505 yep okay so using the 504 brush now we're going to go into that berries palette we're going to use this shade right here so the top corner i'm going to put a little on our brush we're going to work that into the crease and outer v area we're just following that same shape so all the first shadow was doing was creating the shape for us so we know where to put our shadow and it kind of deepens up the crease. At least it does for me. <laughs> and then we're gonna take a, where's my, we're gonna take a smaller brush, a smaller packer brush and we're gonna make sure that is blended, okay? Make sure that is blended up and out. The main thing is blending, obviously. People say that all the time, you gotta make sure your stuff is blended. I don't always do that. Can't be getting on nobody else for their makeup rules, but I know blending is important, and when I do take the time to blend my makeup out, it does look a lot better, but you know, it is what it is. Is my mic on? I'm gonna do that like that. And before we go back in with the darker shade, we're gonna go in with our nudes palette, and we're gonna use this middle shade up here. If you guys can see it, if it's coming out right. This middle shade at the top. I'm gonna put that on our little packer brush here. We're gonna put that into the front half of our eye. So I'm just bringing it down into like the inner corner, up into the crease, and over. So you're basically creating an angle, you know, on your eye. Okay. 
we're gonna go back in now with our berries palette. What is on my, what is this on my finger? Huh. Back in with our berries palette, we're gonna use that purple shade. Or not, it's not purple. It looks purple, it looks purple in the pan, but when you put it on, it's more like a deep burgundy type of shade. But we're gonna use our angled brush. I'm gonna go into that. We're gonna put that on the outside, working up into the crease, okay? I'm gonna deepen that crease and out of V just a tad bit. And because the brush is angled, it pretty much places the product where I need it to go. So bring it into the crease, y'all. Bring it into the crease. And you're just gonna feather that into the eye. So into the eye, okay? That's how we doing it. Now we're gonna go back in with our chocolates palette. And we're gonna use this cream shade right here back in the front. So I use a lighter shade to kind of, you know, set the tone, but I want to use, I want to deepen it up with this um, darker cream shade. Using the same motions. Then we're going to go back in with our, that packer brush we used for that, um, that burgundy shade here. Okay, and we're gonna take this burgundy shade and this middle pink shade and mix those two together. Like that. And then we're gonna go, oop, oop. <laughs> we're gonna go in between the two colors and bring out that pink shade. And don't worry, if you mess up, you can go back in whatever shade you need, okay? Just gonna put that into there. Okay, let me get my cream shade again because I need to fix that. I'm just gonna fan that out. Create the shape that you want. It doesn't have to be the exact one that I'm creating, but again, create the shape that you want. Wanna make sure that purple is good to go. Well, not purple, but that darker shade. And this is where you just go in and clean up or you know fix whatever shade you need to fix or bring out. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of my face really quick and then we'll come back and do the under eye and then we will style up the hair and be done. Okay, scoop. <laughs> okay, so base is done and now we're gonna do our under eye really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna do my black liner just a little bit right here. Okay, so we're gonna be using the berries palette. We're gonna take this pink shade right here on a teeny tiny packer brush if I can find one. Pink shade. We're gonna go under our waterline. Then we're gonna do the same brush. We're gonna use that corner shade, that burgundy. And deepen up that color on the outer corner. And then we're gonna go in with that, what I think is purple, but it's more like a, I guess it's more of a deep burgundy once you put it on right here on the far outer corner. Change my mind, I wanna use the black, I'm gonna use the white. So I'm gonna use my white liner. Hopefully I don't jack this up. And we're not bringing it all the way in because my eyes are like, my eyes go up. And so I don't want it to, I don't want that line to follow that all the way up. Do our highlights, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is in the crown of my canopy. It's a very, very natural highlight. It's not too much and it's not harsh at all. Put a little bit on my brow bone. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit into our inner corner. All right, so hair time. Let's unwrap this joint so we can make sure our lace is laid down. Like I said, this hair is from My Quality Hair. I have worked with them before, so you know, this is not my first time at the rodeo. This is their gorgeous piano color unit. This is the only color that this unit comes in, and the starting price for this unit is $119. Now, depending on your specs for your unit, the price will go up. So for my particular specs, 18 inches and 150% density, my unit price is $198. You don't have to get exactly what I got, but you know, there's the price, okay? All my, all my other specs will be listed down below so you guys can check that out if you want to get the exact same unit that I got. Now that we are ready to go, I'm going to start taking my little pin curls out. Now as you saw in the put down, I did use some products on this hair. I used the Got To Be Body Fine Mousse. I used my um, 
Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine, and then I also use the Garnier Fruity uh, Mega, what's it called? The Mega Full Thickening Lotion. Um, I haven't used that before. This is my first time using this. I got this from Amazon. It will be linked down below um, because I knew this hair was gonna be a little bit thin for the style that I wanted. That's why I use all three of those products. Um, the Sleek and Shine more so to keep the frizzies away because there's a lot of frizzies in this unit because this hair is color treated um, and the process is just, it's dyed and fried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna style these baby hairs just a little bit. And the unit does come um, with some baby hairs, but um, I just wanted to put my own, make sure the unit is right for me. So I did pluck her a little bit more and I am obviously putting my own little spin on these little swoops. I don't wanna pull the curls too much because like I said, how frizzy this hair is, I don't want it to become a bird's nest. Oh, another clip over here. Dang it, I don't know how to. Still finding clips. Like the unit is, I don't know, the unit is okay. It's not my favorite because I'm not really a fan of the color. She will need to go in and condition this hair. It's gonna need to be conditioned. This is a 13 by six unit, so you can part this unit um, any way you want at the top, okay? There's the parting space there. There are some flyaways on this unit as well, so you will need to go in with your uh, wax stick or whatever, you know, heat source to kind of tame that a little bit because try to brush this a little bit. Okay, so that softens it up a little bit. I was trying to be nice and not brush the unit, but the brushing it actually softens the curls, and I like that a lot better. I am getting um, some shedding with this unit. Again, this is color treated, so I kind of expect that. I'm gonna do a little bit of sleek and shine on here. I don't know yet. Let me change my shirt and see if that livens things up a little bit. So this is how she is sitting down, you guys. Um, I would say, mm, this is not necessarily my favorite. I know my quality hair appreciates me for my honesty, so you know, it is what it is, but it's not my favorite unit from them just because of the color. I'm not a huge fan of the color on me, you know, personally. Like a honey blonde or like a more of like a brown sugar blonde type of look will look a lot better on me. That's just me personally. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was gonna look a lot different. My favorite part is the curls. I did those curls, Gary, okay? I did those curls. But that's how my makeup is looking. This is how my hair is looking. I hope you guys guys enjoyed the video regardless and learned some things. Um, I feel like this unit is growing on me. What? The more I sit here and move this unit around, the more I'm starting to like it. Let me put my glasses on though, because I feel like my eyes are playing tricks on me right now. Let me put my glasses on. Hmm, okay. What is going on right now? Do I like it? This unit is gonna give me a headache. It's gonna give me a headache, y'all, because I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. It, it, it still needs to be conditioned, okay? It still needs to be conditioned. I'll leave her at that. I'm gonna let you guys tell me down below whether you guys like it or not. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much to my quality hair for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. As always, the direct link for this unit will be listed down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. I also have a coupon. It will be listed down below, so make sure you guys use that to save some money on your order. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.